October 22nd, that's when we're supposed to get a brand new episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which starts the new Meteor Mission arc. On October the 12th, we're supposed to get a new special Dragon Ball panel, which is supposed to give us a teaser to a new anime project or could be manga related as well. You can really tell that October is going to be a really good month for us Dragon Ball fans. The real question is, how can they start this meteor mission off? Now what I can tell you is, is that the next manga chapter for Super Dragon Ball Heroes, at the end of that manga chapter is going to leave off with a cliffhanger to at least give us some more details about what we can expect in the next story that involves Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Just like when they ended the universe mission arc involving Hearts and Cumber, a mysterious figure appeared and invited them into a space-time war tournament. The same thing will most likely be done for this next arc as well. Now of course we already know the main details, who the main antagonist is going to be, um, which is Majin Ozato. This guy has been in many old Dragon Ball games and Super Dragon Ball Heroes kind of picked him up and gave him new meaning. And when you look back in the past and see all the things he can really do, especially in this Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga, this dude is kind of broken when it comes to powers and abilities. He's the first Moro. He is the original Planet Eater. Not only can he consume planets, but he can also consume people as well and gain their abilities. We've seen that with lags, which we think is going to be a big factor in the story involving hearts he was able to go ahead and consume glass and gain her ability to use and create glass from the old video games we can also tell that he can also shape shift himself just like in the early episodes of super dragon Ball heroes the big bay mission everybody was pretty much having a good time until this strange bird which is toki toki dropped in on him that led to many other chain of events the gods of destructions all appearing all at one time trying to destroy this bird why i said all that to pretty much state that this next episode in super dragon Ball heroes episode 51 it's gonna start with a period of peace even though it is only for 10 minutes or less then somehow somewhere into that the main threat is going to make its way known Will Ozato appear on the earth as a different person, somebody that everybody's used to, just to gain insight on who the strongest is. Because from Dragon Ball Heroes, the promotional manga, we can tell that he's very sneaky and conniving. He knows how to get what he wants and he get it done. In the Prison Planet manga adaption of the story, he was able to go through many fights and actually appear in what he needed to snatch the dragon balls and leave he did not waste time on fighting very similar to what moro did even though ozato is way older than moro as far as storylines go but they're very similar at this point we can really see anything he can really be the imposter and nobody not even know it having those insane and broken abilities to shape shift also having intellect and knowing when to get in and out of a situation he's a very broken character and i do want to see what goku and his team is going to be able to do to get rid of this threat and another issue is hearts hearts wants to know what lags is he ozato consumed lags once he finds out that ozato is responsible for imprisoning lags or worse killing her the fight will be on as we can already tell in the universe mission arc of this story that lags and hearts had a very interesting and close bond now with all this being stated let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know what you think about this whole entire story what do you think about the ozato character are you pumped and excited for what's to come Remember, October 3rd, we have the last part of the Ultra God mission of the manga, showcasing the fight between Ultra Instinct Goku and Xano Goku. Almost for certain, getting a hint into how this new arc is going to start. October 12th, we're going to be getting a new panel, a special panel for Dragon Ball. It's not labeled Super, so 
That's a pretty big deal. That's also stated to be a teaser too. Many guest appearances. So it looks like we're about to get some type of anime announcement. And then on October 22nd, Super Dragon Ball Heroes is gonna have their 13th anniversary stream, which is gonna showcase the next episode, the first episode of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Meteor Mission arc. So let me know what you think. Are you excited about the month of October for us Dragon Ball fans? What do you want to get from the special panel? Do you want to go ahead and have them start into the moral arc as far as the anime is concerned? I know for sure they're going to pretty much tell us about the next story in the Dragon Ball Super manga. But the manga is way ahead of the anime. So technically they have really good content for the anime as of now. They can animate the moral arc. They can animate the granola arc. They can even retell the Broly story as well as the superhero story. So it's been five years. It's about time for Dragon Ball to come back. And San Diego Comic Con would be the best place to announce that return. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like. Likes go a long way on this channel. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.